I grew up, uh, I was introduced to carnism, you know, eating animal products or whatever, through my parents. And I didn't really question it too much. There were some things I liked and didn't like, but, and I, you know, phased some things out over the years. It was uh, spring of 2012, almost 12 years ago. Actually, it was about this time of year. On February 7th of that year, I decided I'm going to go vegan. And at that point, I was really close. I mean, I hadn't had red meat in probably 20 plus years. At that point, I hadn't had any uh, chicken or anything like that in probably, you know, five or 10 years. I'll say five years to be conservative. So the only thing I had left at the beginning of 12 to eliminate uh, was uh, some salmon that I was eating, some fish, and some kefir. I was putting some of that in my smoothies. And uh, February 7th, I had a little calendar, and I still have that calendar on my desk. I just had a piece of paper. I wrote down the date, and I weighed myself, and I you know, started the journey. And then I uh, became vegan that day. And fortunately, while being in Boulder, there were good uh, vegan restaurants. There were good uh, vegan um, meetup groups. So I would meet a lot of people through that. So I got into those things. And that's how I became aware of the activism side of it for animals to people that were going to those meetings or those lunches. I'd meet these people and that's what they were into more than anything. I just went into it just to do it. I didn't have any health issues. I just wanted to try to do it. So I really became an, uh, aware of animal rights, you know, through that group. And then I um, you know, taught it, you know, I, didn't, I shouldn't say ta teach it because I didn't teach it. Uh, I introduced the animal rights to students in the ethics course. And I just, it was an easy transition for me. It just, you know, after that, I'm just, it's really what motivates me more uh, now than anything else. I mean, if you ask, you know, why might someone be vegan? You'd say, or I would say nutritionally, environmentally, and ethically, spiritually, with the ethical, spiritual side of it being whatever it might be for that person.